What do you make of this story this morning that uh, Jerry Jones and McCarthy kind of at odds? McCarthy clearly wants a new deal. He is now reportedly fed up with Jerry Jones, who said they were going to go all in, but they haven't done jack squat to improve the roster. McCarthy probably wants a deal. What are you, what are you hearing, Albert? Well, I look at this on two levels, right? Like the first level is the team level, and they've got a lot going on right now. You know, with the Dak situation, with the Justin Jefferson or the uh, the the CD Lamb situation, the Micah Parsons situation, Justin Jefferson's deal hits them on two of those fronts because it's going to affect the Parsons negotiation, it's going to affect the Lamb negotiation, mm. and then you know you got the Dak Prescott thing, which you know now you're looking at going into a contract year with your quarterback, and you really don't have the franchise tag available to him because he would cost over $80 million to tag in 2025. So you've got all those, um, all those loose ends. And now of course you've got your, your coach and most of, most of his staff too, um, heading into a year where their, um, where their contracts are going to be up. And so on the team level, there's just a lot happening there individually for Mike McCarthy. It's hard to blame him. J Mac. Yeah. He's won 12 games, three years in a row. Um, but, this is sort of a product of the noise that he had to deal with at the end of last year in November and December, when you asked around to people who know these things and who run in these circles, what you kept hearing was just a playoff berth won't save Mike McCarthy. He's got to get in and he's got to look good in the playoffs. That didn't happen. Of course, <laughs> you know, they looked bad um, in losing to the Packers. And so, you know, they, they wind up holding on to him, but that was after a few days of deliberations and, so, you know, certainly, you know, on one hand, you got somebody who is, you know, dealing with a team that's got a lot of loose ends, that's got a lot of high expectations that may be reaching the end of a window for a certain group of players. And then on the other end, you have a coach who is sitting here having won 12 games three years in a row, who's got a Super Bowl champion pedigree, who's now won with two different franchises, um, set to head into a contract year. It doesn't surprise me that things would be a little uncomfortable. Uh yeah, <clears throat> so this is such an interesting story to me because Mike McCarthy, a few years ago, people would have said he doesn't have any leg to stand on to, to be fed up with any owner, that he should just be grateful to be where he's at because the reality is is that he was fired at Green Bay spectacularly with all these weird stories about him getting massages or whatever and not really being a good coach and Aaron hating him. And at this point, Aaron is being seen as like goat level, honestly, right? He's, he's in this conversation as what he obviously doesn't have the same resume, but in terms of pure talent, um, it's seen as Aaron Rodgers is being one of, if not the greatest quarterback of all time. At the very least, like I said, it's, it's a discussion. And so that now doesn't bode well for McCarthy and then he's like in his basement and like looking at tape and watching all the games was all show ended up not being true and like nobody wanted McCarthy people weren't lining up to hire McCarthy and then Jerry Jones hired him and it wasn't universally praised it was kind of like what is Jerry doing Jerry Jones just hires another beta you know head coach to be able to be so so Jerry can stay the alpha like people did not praise that hiring and then when he was on um hard knocks he was made fun of like to the nth degree with the whole mojo moment or whatever the heck it was you know the the the, the awesome powers thing the, the mojo moment i think it was called whatever the heck it was <clears throat> and he he was just a laughstock everyone just made fun of him and then even though he's won 12 games every time in the playoffs they lose in ways that people are just like, what the heck was that? Which then continued to have people call out Mike McCarthy. Very questionable play calling. Even uh, the, because if you don't want to blame Mike McCarthy for last season in the playoffs against the Packers, which I disagree with, I think he can get a tremendous amount of blame. Even um, Greg Olson was like, Mike, what the heck are you calling right now? I know you're down by a lot, but like, what the heck are you doing? You know, what are these play calls? He even called them out there. <clears throat> but the season before that, with the play call of, of having Dak Prescott, you know, go on the run, and you're just like, what, you know, what was that? And then, and then with Ezekiel Elliott, right, like taking a snap or whatever, just like weird, bizarre stuff. And so Mike McCarthy got the brunt of that blame.
And it's so funny to me because the Dallas Cowboys fans seem to be so split between G- blaming Jerry Jones for everything or blaming like Dak or McCarthy. And it just doesn't really make sense. I understand Jerry Jones. Um, people want to call out Jerry Jones for any of the, the many things that you could call him out for. But then Mike McCarthy wins 12 games in a row, you know, 12 games, three seasons in a row. They go to the playoffs. They have all this success. And the Cowboys, I think it's in, since like 2020, or I forget the exact time frame, but it's like a, a more recent time frame. They have them, they have like, they're tied for the second or third most pro bowlers out of, out of the entire NFL. That's Jerry Jones building that team. Jerry Jones is the one that put in that team. So, so, so again, like, what else do you want Jerry to do in that regard? He's getting the players. He's finding the Micah Parsons, the CD Lambs, the the fourth round Dak Prescotts, the Ezekiel Elliotts. Like, he's the one that's doing that. He's the one that's getting the personnel to build this great team that can win twelve games in a row, twelve games, three seasons in a row. So what else do you want Jerry Jones to do? To to draft and get five more pro bowlers? Or do you want him to get another head coach or a different quarterback? Because if you do, then you need to blame, then you need to put the blame on Mike McCarthy then. And if Mike McCarthy has the blame, then he has no reason to be fed up with him. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to pick and choose. Who's wrong in this situation? If you're blaming Jerry Jones then it could only really be at the coach or, dare I say, quarterback position because he's building this team, and that team has all these pro bowlers. The rest is on the coaching staff to figure it out and make it work. And if you're saying, though, then it's John Jerry Jones for not getting a better head coach, well, then you have to blame Mike McCarthy. Then Mike McCarthy is not good enough and should and has no grounds to be fed up with anyone and should be kissing Jerry Jones's feet for continuing to give him an opportunity with a great Pro Bowl wa- roster and all pro. And apparently a top quarterback in the NFL. So, and if Dak Prescott is a, is a great quarterback and a top quarterback in the NFL, which a lot of people believe he is, then how can you not blame the coach for getting it done again one of them has to be at blame it's either mike mccarthy is not good enough to maximize the great elite dak prescott or mike mccarthy is a great coach and that dak prescott is not good enough so you have to figure out who is to blame in for the dallas cowboys who's to blame because you guys want to tell me that the Dallas Cowboys are a really great team. And that's why they have Super Bowl aspirations. If that's the case, Jerry Jones built a Super Bowl roster. What else do you want from him then? And if they don't now show up in the playoffs and do what needs to be done, how is that on Jerry Jones? Doesn't make sense to me. It really, really doesn't. So it's just so fascinating to me to see Mike McCarthy be fed up with Jerry Jones. Now... From Mike McCarthy's standpoint, <clears throat> I totally see where he could be coming from. If he believes, yo, I'm a great coach. I got to the Dallas Cowboys. I immediately had us winning. I got Dak Prescott balling out 12 wins a season. Look what I'm doing. I want a Super Bowl. Look how well Aaron Rodgers has, has aged. I, I look better now in Green Bay than I maybe did originally. Now that Aaron Rodgers has proven to be difficult to work with, yada, yada, yada. Like, I'm legit. And now you're telling me that I have one year to prove it? One, I don't got anything to prove because I'm a great coach. And two, you're not building a good roster for me this season. You want me to somehow win with this roster? You're not paying anyone? You said that you're going all in and like what? Like the Eagles got better. The 49ers got better. The Packers got better. Everyone's getting better but us. And now you're going to say if I don't play well or win a Super Bowl, then I'm fired. But yet you haven't improved my roster? You, you went out and got Ezekiel Elliott instead of Saquon Barkley? Instead of Derrick Henry? Like, what are you doing here? You got Dak Prescott all upset, Micah all upset, CeeDee Lamb all upset. You're making my job harder, and now you're telling me that I have to find a way to win and do better than I did in previous years. So Mike McCarthy, I could see him being fed up, for sure. 
So it's just it's it's just so it's just so messy. So that is where you can blame Jerry Jones for making a messy, undefined, unclear situation where nobody knows because that's the problem. People now, I'm sure fans are even confused. The media is even confused. Who is to blame for the Cowboys lack of success? Is it Jerry Jones? Is it Mike McCarthy? Is it Dak Prescott? Like who's to blame? Why, why, why are they coming up short? Why can they win 12 games each season and then do nothing in the playoffs? Not reach an NFC championship game, which is unheard of. They haven't been in an NFC championship game in 30 years or whatever it is. That's a problem. It has Someone has to be at blame. And so who is it? And the reality is, is if you blame Jerry Jones then technically the blame then falls on Mike McCarthy for Jerry Jones hiring him or Dak Prescott. Because we know the roster itself is good enough. The roster is always praised throughout the year. Throughout the years. That's why they have all those Pro Bowl noms. So, you know, you, you got to figure it out. But I will say that Jerry Jones deserves the blame for making this a messy, messy, messy offseason and loud off season and unclear because right now you just have this whole everyone's just lost in 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 cowboys purgatory where it's just like where are we going are we going to be better are we going to be worse is mike mccarthy a good coach is he going to get fired are we moving on from Dak prescott is cd lamb like yeah micah parsons what's happening he's just you know it's just a just a bizarre situation to be in and for that jerry jones deserves the blame but those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think Mike McCarthy has any grounds to be fed up with Jerry Jones? Or do you think he should be very grateful to Jerry Jones? And what the heck do you think is going on with the Dallas Cowboys? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some, let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.